Los Angeles has some of the most expensive rent in the country. And today, we're gonna take a look at three different apartments that are maximum $1,500 a month. First up, we're gonna check out a place in Santa Monica. Santa Monica is a really nice area, definitely desirable to live in, so pretty expensive. So this next one I'm going to look at is a little weird online. They didn't have any actual photos, but this one is its own apartment. You wouldn't have to share this with anyone. If there's no pictures, that can't mean it's too great. But realistically, if you're gonna live without a roommate, this is what you might find. Let's it. check it out. So within the city, this is a great location. Santa Monica is definitely a cool spot to live. As far as where this actually is, it's pretty random. Good area. In terms of where this is, in, like on the street, really weird. Really weird. Right above like a tax place, but maybe that would be convenient. Okay, let's take a look. Going in, it looks definitely motel style, kind of run down. I think we can objectively say this place is pretty ugly. So going inside the unit, this is it. It is just one small room. This is it, this is literally it. It's a room, one room. Just set up a bed here, a little microwave. It has a little bathroom. The bathroom does have a window, which is nice. The bathroom is definitely nothing special. It didn't feel dirty or anything like that, but obviously it's not a luxury bathroom. I will say it's nice that it had a window though. In the actual room, the flooring seemed new, so that's nice, but it is obviously very small. It has a small walk-in closet. There's no kitchen, nothing like that. It's just one small room. Also good to note, there wasn't built-in air conditioning. I also noticed this weird little patio situation so that is apartment number one. When you go to search for an apartment and you put the maximum as $1,500, you'll quickly find that there is almost nothing available that would be just your own apartment. If you bump it up to around 3,000 and have two bedrooms, you'll find a lot more options. So I found this two bedroom place. It looks so much nicer than number one, but it is in the valley, so it's kind of far away, but let's go check it out anyway. So this is actually the penthouse unit. It has really high ceilings. So this is still under $1,500. So it'd be about $1,350 per person. Everything was new. This unit has never even been lived in, actually. It has a nice kitchen, pretty roomy, nice appliances. It has an in-unit washer and dryer. Here's the master bedroom, really bright. It has its own little balcony. The second bedroom is about the same size as the master bedroom. It also has a nice walk-in closet. This one has a detached bathroom, but it's a full bathroom. This apartment complex also had some amenities. There was a clubhouse that had a pool table, some computers. It had a full gym with a lot of equipment. And this one also has a little outdoor area where you can barbecue. The obvious con here is the location. The valley is pretty random. But you know, that's really not the worst thing in the world. You're really getting a much nicer spot. I will say that's kind of weird. So here's the next apartment. This one is actually in Bel Air. It's a very nice location, nice neighborhood. This is another two bedroom one where you would need a roommate. And this one is right at 1500 a month. So this one also has an older feel. It doesn't feel unsafe or anything like that. It's just not the most luxurious aesthetic. It's renovated inside. It has that kind of motel style. Going inside, there's a big living room. There's a good amount of windows. Not the brightest apartment I've ever seen, but it definitely has a nice big living room. So this kitchen definitely definitely has been upgraded from how it originally was. It looks pretty nice. It's not my dream kitchen per se, but it definitely looks good. I like the flooring of it. It has nice looking cabinets, white countertops. So here's the second bedroom in this apartment. It has a lot of windows. It's actually pretty big for not being the master. It doesn't have a walk-in closet, but it does have a decent amount of closet space with these mirrors. These mirrors are kind of an older style. Going back into the hallway, we see that there's a bathroom on the right so there's only one bathroom in this apartment. I actually love this shower. 
and then we see the master bedroom which is actually really big so this master bedroom is super bright again it doesn't have a big walk-in closet or anything the little details of this apartment felt old so the doorknobs the light switches the built-in storage all felt old and worn but overall the apartment wasn't bad and the location is awesome but overall the apartment wasn't bad and the location was awesome so what apartment would you guys pick number one good location but kind of sketch number two very nice but far from everything or number three a little older but still good location i would totally pick number three because that location is prime such a nice area it wasn't as luxurious as number two but you could totally decorate it and make it look really nice but yeah let me know which one was your favorite i'm sure no one is gonna pick number one and be sure to subscribe if you guys want more videos like this or if you just want to check out any of my other videos and follow me on instagram i'll have that down below and i will see you guys in my next video bye